Hey guys, uh, I got a simple one for you here today. We're going to be calculating the seismic overturning moment and the seismic base shear given the seismic force at each level. So as you can see on the right hand side, we've got a force distribution. You'd calculate something like this with uh, section 12.8 of ASE 7. And this type of problem is one you might see on your uh, PE seismic exam falls under section uh, four of the seismic test plan put out by the board. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna get started. All right, so uh, very simple and straightforward overturning moment. It's just like calculating the moment any other way you would. Uh, you've got four forces here, starting at level two, up to level three, level four, and then the roof level. Uh, eight kips, 10 kips, four, 14 kips, and 20 kips. You've got a dimension in terms of the height. You've got a height, you've got a force, you can calculate a moment. There's some information in this problem that you don't actually need and it's just there to perhaps distract you. Um, you can see that there's a braced frame that's in the, the right bay and the width of those bays are 25 foot each. You don't need that information to get the overturning moment. So just kind of falling back to your principles, whatever you probably remember from your statics course, is that uh, we're, we're really just taking a moment and that's just gonna be force times a height. So writing that out, the overturning moment, OTM, is gonna be equal to 20 kips times 80 foot plus 14 kips times 60 foot plus 10 kips times 40 foot plus eight kips, it's gonna be times 20 foot. And calculating that out, that's gonna to equal to 3,000 kip foot. And there's your answer for overturning moment, all right? Okay, next up is base shear. Remember base shear, is what you will calculate when going through the, starting out uh, with the equivalent lateral force method based off of uh, ASCE7. You're gonna start that out with your base shear and you would use that to get a distribution as you have here. In this situation, we are back calculating the base shear based off of our distribution. Base shear is really simply the sum of this force because it is the shear at the base. And if you follow, the shear down the structure, it's gonna start at the roof level here. So if we, we draw a shear diagram here in red, it's gonna go 20 kips. That 20 kips is gonna then jump to 34 kips. That 34 kips is gonna then jump to 44 kips. And that 44 kips is then gonna jump to 52 kips. You got 52 kips at the base. So, just gonna write that out, 20 kips, and then 34 kips, and then 44 kips, and then we got 52 kips here. All right, so we got 20 kips plus 14 kips plus 10 kips plus eight kips. And that's going to be equal to 52 kips. So we got our base shear at 52 kips, and we got our overturning moment at 3,000 kip foot. There you go. It's a short one, quick and easy, but uh, good practice for some of those shorter, simpler problems you might be facing on that exam. Best of luck to y'all. You can uh, find this example on www.structural.wiki.com. Sorry. It's just www.structural.wiki, okay? And I will have a link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and feel free to message me if you got any questions.